like we got us a delivery. Uh, let's go unbox it. All right, today I'm gonna be unboxing these Moultrie cameras that I just bought. So I ordered two Moultrie cameras. I forget the technical specs on them, but uh, you, you guys know the specs. You've seen the title and whatever else. Opening it up. Of course, we got the delivery note and that stuff in there. I mean, who even looks at that anyway? The reason I bought these cameras is because they were on sale and uh, I kind of wanted to test them out just to see if they were any good. They're normally 70 bucks and I got these for 29 a piece. Of course, there's bubble wrap in here. Let's keep on moving. After you take out the bubble wrap, we just got the two little boxes here like this. So now I'm gonna open up these boxes and see what's inside. More bubble wrap, but this one has the actual trail camera in it. Looks like we got a tree strap and more just camera stuff, warranty, whatever. So what comes in each box is the paperwork, whatever that's even called, tree strap, and then the trail cameras. So the first thing I notice is back here it says made in China right there, which is not a good start. In the middle it says A series, and just kind of your classic trail camera. It has the heat sensor down here, has the infrared flash, got the outlet down here for a solar panel or whatever you want to put down there. Generally put a solar panel in there. Then down here we have another outlet that's USB, micro USB. I'm not sure why. So yeah, this camera seems um, a little bit small, kind of how you would expect from a, a, a normal trail camera. Another thing that I noticed about this trail camera right off the bat is opening it up feels a little strange. Um, it, it's goes off of this flap here on the side. It's also not very quiet, like when you open it, um, I don't I don't love that. And it looks like it takes eight AA batteries. So the batteries are on this side, your functions and buttons are here, and then the SD card slot is on this side. So I'm running out of light here, but I covered all the basic functions. In a couple days, we're gonna be setting them out in the woods and seeing it, how they get get pictures but we'll see if these cameras will hold up during the hunting season for 30 bucks and i'm really hoping that these trail cameras will be able to help us pattern and hopefully kill some nice bucks this fall So it's been two months and one broken wrist since we got the camera and put it out. So now I'm here to finish the review for this camera and see how it performed in the field. So I put both of the cameras out at the same time on the same farm, one overlooking a water hole and one at a food plot. So after about a month of having those things out there soaking in information, the trail camera at the food plot had not taken any because we forgot to format the SD card. I'll touch on that a little more in just a bit. The other camera that I had set up at a water hole was pointing too high and didn't sense most of the deer and only got three pictures. So for the first month that we had both cameras out, one took pictures, one didn't. So I reset the cameras, made sure I had formatted cards in there and both cameras are working just fine. They seem to take plenty of pictures and of course you can adjust the settings for how fast and slow they shoot. And the nighttime is not too bad. Um, I didn't get just a ton of nighttime pictures, but for a $30 camera, the nighttime was not bad. And the daytime pictures are also really clear and you can easily see how many points a deer has. <laughs> so I would say for a $30 refurbished trail camera, this is not too bad. You get pretty high quality pictures, decent daytime, decent nighttime. You can adjust the modes. Just make sure that your card is formatted because it may not take pictures if your card isn't formatted. So just make sure you always format your cards. The lithiums cost a little bit more, but if you can afford to spend just a little bit more for batteries, I would definitely recommend putting lithiums in these cameras, just like any other camera. Overall, 30 bucks for a camera, not bad. And if you can't find this camera for 30 bucks, they're normally, I think, $70 on their website. If you're not seeing them for $30, you can hang around till the summer when they have the refurbished ones for sale. If you like this video, you can leave a big thumbs up on it. That seriously helps us out a lot. Any engagement with the video, whether you like it or comment on it, whatever you do, that helps YouTube know if you like the video or not, and that'll help it to promote it more. So simply by engaging with the video, you can help us out a lot. So feel free to do that, and I... Done. Later.